हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न अबाउट द सर्जरीज इन्वॉल्विंग द साइनोसाइटिस साइनसिस सो फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सर्जरी इज फंक्शनल एंडोस्कोपिक साइनस सर्जरी फंक्शनल एंडोस्कोपिक साइनस सर्जरी इज द ड्रग सर्जरी ऑफ चॉइस फॉर मेनी कंडीशंस इंडिकेशंस ऑफ फंक्शनल एंडोस्कोपिक साइनस सर्जरी first it includes the nasal conditions which include inflammation of sinuses which is chronic or fungal sinuses this includes polyp removal mucosal of frontal and ethmoidal sinus it involves epistaxis septoplasty it also involves the foreign body removal then the it includes second indication is then it also includes coronal atresia repair then if you see second other in other conditions like it includes orbital conditions which include orbital decompression optic nerve decompression it causes blow out of orbit it is also used in a uh, drainage of periorbital sinus and abscess and it is also used in uh, surgery of dacro rhinosis rhinostomy it is used in csf leak and in pituitary surgery that is through transpenoidal hypophysectomy for all these surgeries we can do it with for all these conditions we can do fundus fun, sorry functional endoscopic sinus surgery this is the surgery of choice for sinusitis in this functional endoscopic sinus surgery we use a nasal endoscope which is 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees and 70 degrees this nasal endoscope access the flow out outflow tract and also ostia of sinuses the principles include it the site of pathogenesis of sinusitis is ostio is an osteomeatal complex the site of pathogenesis of sinusitis is an osteomeatal complex mucociliary clearance always directs towards the natural ostium so mu then mucosal pathology in the sinus reverts back to normal once sinus ventilation and mucociliary clearance is improved so one important thing is once you remove the pathology once you remove the disease through surgery then the mucosal pathology becomes completely normal and all the clearance occurs towards the natural ostium so our main job is to repair the natural ostium in such a way that drainage occurs clearer contraindications of functional endoscopic sinus surgery are intracranial complications of sinusitis whenever there is involvement of lateral wall and the floor of maxillary antrum whenever there is pathology which is localized to lateral recess of frontal sinus in those cases we can do functional endoscopic sinus surgery steps of functional endoscopic sinus surgery include we have a technique called has messer klinger technique this is called has messer klinger technique here one we do ancinectomy and then we remove the ancinate process ancinate process is removed using a black slicey black slicey forceps and then we will expose the ethmoidal infundibulum after ancinectomy we will ex expose the ethmoidal infundibulum which is called as infundibulotomy then third we will clear the anterior ethmoidal disease by excenteration of anterior and posterior ethmoidal cells 
सो दिस इज कॉल्ड हैज एंटीरियर एथमाइडेक्टमी और पोस्टीरियर एथमाइडेक्टमी देन नाउ वी विल वाइडन द ऑस्टिया ऑफ मैक्सिलरी साइनस वंस वी वाइडन द ऑस्टिया ऑफ मैक्सिलरी साइनस इट विल रिजल्ट इन मिडल मीएटल एंड देन वी डू मिडल मीएटल एंट्रोस्टमी सो फंक्शनल एंडोस्कोपिक साइनस सर्जरी इज डन टू रिमूव द कॉज ऑफ द डिजीज यू शुड जस्ट रिमूव दिस रिमेंबर दिस स्टेप्स क्लियरली फर्स्ट देर इज अनसिनेक्टमी फॉलोड बाय इनफंडिब्यूलेक्टमी देन देर इज एंटीरियर एथमाइडेक्टमी एंड पोस्टीरियर एथमाइडेक्टमी एंड फाइनली देर इज मिडल मीएटल एंट्रोस्टमी Complications include orbital complications, which includes periorbital ecchymosis (emphysema) and optic nerve injury. Then this also includes intracranial injuries, which is a uh, CSF leak. It also includes carotid artery injury, and also it can cause cranial nerve. third fourth fifth sixth injury then it can cause it can also cause hemorrhage from spinoparietal and ethmoidal arteries it can cause hemorrhage from spinoparietal and ethmoidal arteries it can cause injury to the nasolacrimal duct and then it can cause rhinorrhea anosmia and also synechiae formation so all these are the complications of functional endoscopic sinus surgery thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you